What is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something special as always for you guys. So today I wanted to fly out the F4U1C. I was thinking about flying the F4U4B. You know, it's just like this thing is beefier, bigger cousin or brother really. Uh, same airframe, same, not same cannons. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't have it researched though. Yeah, no, they're M3s. I was going to, but as you just saw, I don't have it researched, so that kind of sucks. So this is the next best thing, and I have a ton of these, so I'm just going to do that. But before I get into, you know, too much about the video, if you are not subscribed and you enjoy the content, please do subscribe. It really does help the, uh, the channel grow. And uh, yeah, if you like the videos, make sure to leave a like as well. It really does help support the channel. Let's me know that you enjoy the content. If you guys want to see me, you know, play other stuff, planes, tanks, you know, whatever, Please do leave your suggestions in the comments because I often find myself sitting here for a long time thinking about what I want to fly for you guys, and it's a rough time. Anyway, if for you, I this this plane just looks weird. Like a lot of the the earlier mid-war, early war American planes, I just love how they look like they shouldn't fly, but they do, and it's just like it it looks like a brick. It, it really does. It looks like it shouldn't fly, and it does. And that, to me, is really funny and interesting. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but yeah. They, they just, like, you, you can kind of see where in the American tree they kind of get their crap together. And they're like, okay, let's start making things look like they should actually be able to fly. Th this is not it. Still a wonderful plane. These cannons really do pack a punch at 4.7. Let's get into it. Okay, give guides and all the shit you want about making a broken, unbalanced, unfair game. Those are all valid points. But you also have to admit, they make a really spicy plane model. Like, look look, look under those the cowling thingies. Like, there's even, like, those little, I, I don't know, like, strut-looking things that kind of go in and out. That is so... Attention to details is so cool. I just wish they would give bombers and helicopters actual cockpits now. That would be my next biggest thing after, you know, of course, fixing the game. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we got a British P-47, a uh, French P-63, a couple Swedish boys, an LA-7, and a 410 Oh, it's America versus the world. That explains a lot. I was wondering why I was seeing everything on their team and not on our team. But, um, yeah, if you guys haven't been playing uh, super long or just haven't played in a certain amount of time or haven't played, fuck, how do, how do I word this? Haven't played for a certain amount of time. There we go. Uh, realistic battles used to be called historical battles, and it would actually be America versus Germany or America and Britain versus Germany or Russia versus Germany, America and Britain versus Japan. You know, it was... It was fun, and then if you go even further back, you could even see like the silhouettes on the enemy team. They wouldn't tell you what plane they were, but if you could like you know learn the silhouettes, you would be able to figure out the enemy team composition. And that, I got really good at that uh, when I was like 14, 15 years old playing this game years ago. We got a uh, a British Thunderbolt here. I think I want a slice of that pie. Okay, 500 miles an hour. Let's try not to rip our wings off. Man, that's what I do like about American planes. They can just absorb airspeed. It's so just cool how they can just... Okay, uh -huh. I forgot I was using stealth belts. I really did. I really forgot I was using stealth belts. Uh, okay. Dude, this plane is just so, just, uh. I really did forget that I was using stealth belts, though. Alright, making sure he won't get a cheeky shot on me like that. That would be really funny, but unfortunate at the same time. <coughs> yeah, um, I really should have looked at that before, um, loading up in the match because this will make it pretty interesting IL-10 
Fun fact, if you find yourself on the tail end of an IL-10 1946, you should probably not sit there. That 20mm tail gun will ruin your day. This is not that, so I can sit back here, take off his tail and wing. God, I love these cannons. Even though they're only the M2 cannons, they still hit like a freight train. Oh. The team dissolved. Okay. We got people way over there, you know, doing, you know, God knows what. Um, hooray! <coughs> uh, excuse me. Allergies. They're really bad. This time of year. LA-7 just crashed. Okay, that G-55, I don't like the look of that. And the Hellcat. Okay, yep, the G-55 is coming for me. That's fun. No! No! Okay. This is not gonna be fun for me. I gotta just try and run away! That's all I can do. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get away from this guy. At all. Alright, where'd you go? Alright, there he is. There you are. Alright, there's the Hellcat. Alright, save me! Alright, I'm just gonna try and break out of the scissors. Going this way. Alright, I'm just gonna try and open the distance. Hopefully this P-38 can save me. No, I don't think he's gonna be able to. I'm probably gonna get- Oh, he did! Oh, the P-47 did. Sweet! Look at that! Teamwork! I love this team. We might actually be able to come back from this. Alright, this is a T-18 over at the airfield. So, that's fun. Alright. There's the P-63, someone else is taking off, and it looks like there's two more at the end of the runway. So, the whole team landed at that forward airfield. Okay. A-21, okay, there's another A-21 and a T-18 over there. Okay. It's P-63, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. He's stall climbing up to me. That's bad, bad, bad play. Very bad play. Alright, the P-47 did not get him. Okay, he's dead. A-21, mile away. Let's see if we can't turn around and grab him as well. He's on the P-47, let's see if we can't return the favor. He saved me. Alright, he's dead. T-18, A-21 left. Looks like they're gonna camp their airfield. I think that's their forward airfield. Still very scary. AA. Oh, I didn't save the P-47. Damn. That's unfortunate. I thought I saved him. T-18. Their A-21 is turning around somewhere. All right. Let's see if we can't grab this T-18 with four kills. What, what is this guy doing? He hasn't done anything. This whole game. Alright. I don't know what this T-18 is doing. But let's see if we can't snag a fifth. Make it an ace. Oh yeah, dude, this is going to be so easy. And there's five. The A21 is there. There he is. Alright. Alright, there's the A21. Looks like he wants to head on with me. I have three minutes of fuel, so either th this has to end pretty quick because I will not make it back to base on three minutes of fuel. Alright. And 
and he's dead. All right, well he uh, he messed me up pretty bad. He really did. But you know what? That's game six kills. First match of the day. I'll take it. God, I love those little strut things. That's so cool. All right, yeah, he uh, he messed me up. Those 13 millimeter machine guns on those Swedish planes do not fuck around at all. Holy shit. GG. All right, so we are back on Operation Iskara. There's a guy down there flying the frozen river. I see you. You can't get away from me. And there might have been somebody else over there that might be the same guy, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like about this map is that most people don't go to this spawn. They always go here and here, and it's just like, why though? Oh yeah, that, what is that? Attention to the map. Uh, it could be a Doe 217, that's my guess. I don't think it's the IL-10 that's been messing around. Oh, I was right. Yeah, it wasn't the, the IL-10. I'm sorry, my sweet summer child, for what I'm about to do to you. Come on, let's catch him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I actually like the stealth belts. Oh, dude. That's lame. I don't appreciate that at all. I don't like people who do that. That's mean. Okay, well, we have an IL-10 over here. Yeah, that that was not very cash money of you at all, Mr. Exodus. Three five three five. J two M Raiden coming over here, trying to tangle with the IL ten. I think, yeah, the J two M is gonna get him. Oh, dude, he's not gonna pull out of that. He's not gonna pull out of that. Oh, he did. That looked really sketchy for that IL ten. It really did. I wonder if that's a 1946 or if it's just a regular one. I don't know. Whatever it is. Nope, it's just a regular one. Come on, Mr. J2M. I believe in you. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, but he's. Yeah, he, you're done. You're dead. Oh, he actually put it out. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Alright, well. The whole rest of the enemy team is like a whole continent away, so that that's very cool. All right, well, uh, there's a 190 who is dead. <laughs> there's a BF 109Z twin 109. Man, I really should have bought one of those when I had the chance. I don't know when they're gonna go on sale again, but I kick myself every time I see one for not buying one. I've heard that it's both OP and dog shit. But I'm leaning more along the lines of in the middle. And, well, uh, the entire enemy team is dead, so time to use this plane for what it was actually used for in real life. Ground pounding. Fun fact, the uh, P-51s and P-47s can also destroy light pill boxes. Um, yeah, okay, these 20mm cannons struggle with pill boxes. Uh, surprisingly, I, I didn't think they would. But there's plenty of other stuff over here to uh, to shoot up. So let's just uh, shoot up some of this stuff. Hey, you're not allowed to live. Neither are you. Uh, really? Every time. Every single time. Never. <laughs> it, it's, it happened last video too. Got bitch slapped by uh, anti-aircraft fire. Because, fuck me I guess. Ow! And it, it, yep, okay, okay, yep, it, it happened two more times, and now I'm leaking everything, so, um, I think I'm just going to, uh, RTB, that's not very cash money, yeah, this sucks. And now these two idiots over here are messing around with each other because they're uh, bitching and moaning about who really killed the 190. And uh, now my game appointed squad mate is trying to kill that guy. And that guy is trying to kill my squad mate. Stupid bullshit, dude. Just fucking 
If he got the kill, bro, just let him have the kill. Like, what the fuck? Dumb as shit, dude, I swear to god. I kind of want to see how this plays out, though. I want to I see who's going to win. I don't want to crash into the PC soon, either. Man, what? Like, it's one kill, bro. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Man, both of y'all are fucking stupid. I swear to god. Well, uh, here's a map you don't see very often at all. Uh, Peleliu. Man, dude, it's been forever since I've played this map. Holy crap. Oh, boy. Hmm. I don't think I like this at all, really. Alright, you know what? Yellow, right? Critted. Alright, time to run away! Run away! <laughs> no! Oh my god, I'm gonna get swarmed by the entire enemy team. No! I refuse! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! I actually do like stealth belts a lot. If you can actually aim your uh, your guns. Ah, oh, dude, they will psych people out so hard, dude. I love them. I know I selected them on accident in the first match, but they're actually really fun to use if you know what you're doing. Alright, let's see if I can't finish off this, uh, this A6M5. I'm gonna try and save this Spitfire. Alright, Spitfire is saved. Alright, got an assist on the zero. Oh, Spitfire is not saved. <laughs> Darn. Alright, this A6M5 is gonna get me right here, I think. Oh, yeah, he fucked my engine pretty bad. This is not good. This is not good at all. Go away. I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, I blame these two fuckers right here. I blame them. They fucked us. Bombers, that's all they do. And, he, yep. We lost. Alright, my dudes, I think that's going to be it for today. Man, I, I love this plane. I do. I It's such a fun plane. Every time I fly it, I'm genuinely having fun. Most of the time. <laughs> As you saw that last, uh, that last clip, it can get a little sketchy sometimes when your team decides to um, not work out in optimal conditions. Anyway, uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you enjoy the content, please do subscribe, like the video, it really does help the channel grow, it lets me know that you enjoy the content. If you want to see me fly or drive something, please do leave suggestions in the comments because I don't like sitting here for 20 minutes thinking about what I'm going to fly or, or drive. So with all that out of the way, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you guys on Wednesday, hopefully. Peace out.